And welcome to this video. We have a nozzle in the rear of the plane. So why don't we start working on that? Let's uh, convert entities on this whole face, and I'll trim all of these entities that we don't need in here and here. So that's good. So we have these three here and these three here. And in fact, I'll uh, just mirror it, so I'll keep these three on one side. And I'm going to make a two-point spline that connects these two. So we'll choose tangent. Tangent. That gives us a quasi, semi, pseudo, circular shape that is good enough for what we're doing, I think. So we'll rebuild that. Next, highlighting this face features reference geometry. We're going to make a plane that is offset, and I need to bring my uh, side view back, so I have to um, show this in the tree. So showing that, there we can see where the nozzle ends. Reference geometry, plane. Take that down, let's say one inch. Oh, wow, one inch is about perfect. So we'll accept that. And create a sketch. Now what we're building is what we would call turkey feathers. It's kind of a slang term for this. Uh, they their function is to uh, contract or expand, depending on if you're in sub or supersonic flight. So what I'm going to make looks more like a mixer nozzle. Admittedly, it wouldn't work or function the same way as it would on a real plane. But this is a representation that we're making from the images. So it should be good for what my intents are. I'm going to make two arcs. And we're going to highlight and make them tangent. All right, we'll do a, um, put in a circle. I put in a circle. see that I'm roughly tangent to a few points. Looks like uh, if I put a coincident relation there, tangent relation, Maybe another coincident relation. That gives me a rough center of the profile that I'm looking for. So we're going to make that for construction. I'm going to choose another circle referencing off of the same center. And give that a diameter of 1.7. I'm going to make that for construction as well. Now, I can highlight these two. Let's go with a uh, circular sketch pattern. For a point, we can make it this point here. I'm going to go with a pattern of 10. All I have to do is take the one end of one element and merge it and make it tangent. 
Now I can make a tangent with my inner circle. Notice it uh, walked around a little bit so I can take the center of my pattern and merge it and make it coincident with the center of my circle. Now I should be able to drag. You can see that looks a little bit more like a mixer nozzle than turkey feathers, but again, this is just a simple pattern from images. So let me adjust my pattern. Um, I guess I'll have to do it with dimensions. Make my radius here something like 0.01. Maybe something more like 0.05. Yeah, we're getting there. This we're going to make about 0.1. That's too small. 0.15. Too small. I guess 0.17. Make this a bit larger. Make that 0.1 as well. That's actually a nice pattern. So I'll exit that. Next thing I can choose the sketch features. Alright, so from here we're going to choose a boundary. Take this here. And this here, and boundary gives you the freedom to move your handle wherever you'd like. And we won't quite be straight because we're going from one odd place to another, but for our purposes, not bad. And we'll choose then feature. We'll go with uh, about 0.05 and. There you go, change the thickness. And now I simply mirror it. I mirror that feature. And there we have it. Those are kind of sloppy looking nozzles. But, uh, if you're interested, you can download off of GrabCAD another version I have of this that has a Pretty clean looking nozzles. Uh, so with that being said, let's see, we're 13. That may be good for this video. Um, join me in the next one. How about we'll do something like adding in the mid-air refueling uh, nozzle at the front of the plane. And then We'll probably tap with some uh, kind of cosmetic kind of features that we need, like the canopy. And the video itself, we'll see you in the next one.